Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I'm going through hard times right now. Like, recently I am going through a bad famine with low food supply and I'm trying all that I can to avoid suffering too much, despite the absence of most of the food. Because the main staff for the residency that I'm in right now is on vacation, I believe, and I have to wait until he's back for that to be an option to begin with. And just so you know, my parents, at least as of right now as far as I know, is in South Carolina because my brother Benjamin went into boot camp after graduating high school, and he's doing his best to serve in the army and such, as far as I know. So I hope there would be some positive reactions for this video because of all that stuff that I just revealed, you know? Today I'm going to introduce you four characters, actually three characters and one creature, in a sense, if you think about it. So if you bear with me, I'll try all that I can to make this work. Just bear with me, I'm doing this as fluently as I can. Alright, here's the first one. Yonner. Real name, none. Height, 5 feet 10 inches. Weight, 150 pounds. Status, hero and global defender. Base, default earth, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, behavior, loopy yet willful. She's not always in control of her powers. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, she is lacking in a healing factor. Powers, she is permanently asleep, along with having immense strength and the uncanny power to create devastating sonic yawns. Eyes, unrevealed. Hair, light yellow, wavy and curly. Origin, one time, the heroes Dreamwalker and Cochlea decided that there should be a new hero that includes both of their attributes. After getting help from Pym to splice samples of their DNA, they, in the process, create a brand new hero who's permanently asleep. Eventually, entire swarms of sand piranhas arrived at their location and started attacking the fortress of heroism. And as nobody expected, the newly created hero made a yawn so powerful that it decimated the swarms in one go. Being given the name Yawner, she nowadays do all that's necessary to help others with different scenarios. Costume. She simply wears a silver latex suit. Teams. Solitary or with other heroes. Order inspiration. Narcolepsy. The next character I'm going to introduce is not alphabetized, but for a good reason. So that way there would be some context for the, the remaining characters that I'll introduce. This character is an interesting one. Bear with me. Buggy Squirt. Real name, unknown. Height, 6 feet 2 inches to varied. Weight, 167 pounds to varied. Status, anti-hero and master of screams. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior, loving, moody, and utterly horrific. She always enjoys her destiny. Lethality. Extremely deadly in both a fight and in terms of cardiac arrest. Weaknesses. Cosmic forces, low trust level, and rejection. Powers. She possesses a series of ghost-based powers. She can instantly transfigurate herself into anything that she personally chooses. She also has terror inducement mass alteration, and can wield any weapon that she desires. 
eyes, gray and green, hair, silverish, silverish blonde, and shoulder length. Origin. She was once a professional seductress who, due to her alcoholism, ended up getting a hangover before a public outing. When she found that she was late to the session, she got fired for not showing up. Shattered of this, she ended up getting rammed by a city bus and died in the process. When she was transported to Tartarus, Satana fused her with her destined powers, and after developing her powers, she used them to scare Satana to the brink of death. Naming herself Buggy Squirt, she nowadays spends her time being one of the most terrifying residents of the Leviathan universe along with being a notable challenge to heroes and villains alike. Costume? She normally wears a black and white colored top with matching sleeveless, sleeveless jacket, shorts, socks, and sneakers. Otherwise, she wears nothing in particular, like any type of outfit that she feels like wearing. Teams? Solitary or with others? What's your inspiration? Beetle, Beetlejuice. So, the next one involves Buggy Squirt, and I had to introduce Buggy Squirt to give you guys some context. Just bear with me, alright? Zeb. Real name? Inapplicable. Length? 65 feet. Weight? 75 tons. Status? Anti-hero and servant of Buggy Squirt. Base mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior. Savage, willful, and horrific. It will always serve its master. Lethality. Only when craving or during a fight. Weaknesses. Being rivaled and being dwarfed. Powers. It has a huge size, sharp teeth, a vertically shaped mouth, and can travel at great speeds. It's also a hermaphrodite. Eyes, blank red, in total of six. Hair, black and white mohawk. Origin. One time, the villainous Bucky Squirt was minding her own business when she started feeling something in her nose, and almost instantly, a seven-inch long striped worm protruded from her right nostril. When Buggy Squirt pulled it out, it grew to a length of 65 feet, and due to its bodily colors, she decided to name the new creature as simply Zeb. Eventually, Zeb went into a severe fight against an adult Snatcher, and although it did die from its injuries, a brand new copy of Zeb sprouted once again from Buggy Squirt's nose. Since then, Buggy Squirt and Z would do all that they feel necessary to scare as many different people as possible. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary for Buggy Squirt and others. Origin Inspiration? The Sandworms of Saturn. The last one is an interesting one, so I hope you guys bear with me for this whole sequence. Absorber. Real name? Abby Creed. Height and weight varied, status anti-hero, and Universal Misfits member. Base, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. She has a lot of confidence, despite being moody at times. She'd also do anything to be accepted, regardless of any problems. Lethality. Depends on both her mood and the form she becomes. Weaknesses. She has no control over her powers. Powers. She can turn all or part of her body into any material that she touches, along with developing unique powers from it. For example, if she falls into a pool, she would turn into water, and if she touches concrete, she will change into concrete. Eyes, vivid green. Hair, varied. Origin. Abby Creed was an ordinary woman who was taken to a nuclear testing lab for an experiment that could alter her molecular structure. When the test was complete, Abby developed the ability to turn into anything that she touches, 
along with the side effect of going completely insane. She then destroyed the lab and traveled to Oklahoma City, where she made an all-out rampage. Soon, the International Monster League, or IML, had arrived to stop her, and just about lost from the fight. Luckily, Absorber mistakenly mis explained her powers to the opposing team, and that gave their leader, the heroic Colossa, an idea. Colossa then wadded up her gelatinous ally Ooze into a ball and struck Absorber in the face, causing her to morph into a large and helpless glop of Ooze. Eventually, Colossa took Absorber out of her oozy form and explained to all the damage that Absorber committed, making her feel guilty of her actions. Since then, Absorber would do anything to be accepted by the public, despite her occasionally faulty personality. Costume? It depends on the form she recently took. Other than that, she simply wears nothing in particular, and like any outfit she feels like wearing. Teams, solitary, with universal misfits or others. Origin inspiration, Marvel's Absorbing Man. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. I severely apologize for that. I, I'm sorry. I hope you guys like this particular footage. And I hope you enjoyed the stuff I introduced into it and such. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And I hope you guys have a fine Halloween as well. Happy Halloween to everyone and such. So, until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine time with your stuff. And until next time, in transmission. <laughs>